Hello everyone. So in this video, I will teach you on how to graph piecewise function. Here on the left side, you can see we have 3x plus 12 for x is less than or equal to negative 2. And then we have negative x plus 13 for x is greater than 4. Now let's consider the first one. Um, the 3x plus 12. And the domain is... Um, at x is less than or equal to negative 2. Now, so here, we need to have two points in order for us to graph that 3x plus 2. So that means we need to have two x's and two y's. The first x that we will use here is the given number, which is negative 2. So x equals negative 2. The next x that we will use, since what we have here is less than or equal to is the next integer on the left side of negative 2 because it's less than negative 2. So what's this? What's the first integer that is less than negative 2? That's negative 3. So these are the numbers that we will use. These are the x's. Now we need to find the y. How are we going to do that? We will use, of course, the 3x plus 12. So 3, our x is negative 2. What will be our y? 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 12, which is equal to 6. So this is our first point. Let's name this as point A, negative 2, and um, 6. Let's go to the next point. Um, 3 times negative 3 plus 12. That's negative 9 plus 12, which is equal to 3. All right? So B, let's name, this, let's name this as point B. Negative 3 is the X, and Y is 3. Okay. Now, when we graph this in delta math on the left side, you can see, you need to locate those two points. So the first point that you're going to locate is negative 2 and 6. So negative 2 is right here, and then positive 6 is right there. So negative 2 and 6 is right here. So you need to click that and drag that cursor going to um, negative 3 and 3. So negative 3 and 3 is where? It's right there. Okay? So we have the negative 2 and 6, negative 3, and positive 3. Now the next step is to check... If this is an open circle or a closed circle so to check that we need to or to know that we need to check that the symbol that's being used here the inequality symbol it's less than or equal to so that's a closed circle the next will automatically be a, a closed circle now it's less than or equal to so meaning we should expect an arrow going on the left side because it's less than so less than arrow should be going on the left side so to make an arrow here you need to click this twice one two there you go that's your graphical representation for the first um formula 3x plus 12 for x is less than or equal to negative 2 now let's consider the second one okay we have negative 3 negative x plus 13 4 x is greater than 4 so the first number that we will use here is the number that is given so that's 4 the next integer that we will use is the first number the first integer rather that is greater than 4 and that is 5 so negative x plus 13 we'll use that to find y negative 4 plus 13 which is equal to negative 4 plus 13 and that is equal to 9 this one is negative 5 plus 13 so negative 5 plus 13 and that equals um, 8. So let's name this as point C. 
4 and 9. See that? That's 4 and 9. Then the next is point D. That's 5. Right? That's 5 and 8. Alright? So 4 and 9. Where's 4 and 9? This is 4 and that's 9. So this is 4 and 9. Okay? And then click, left click, right, left click, and then go to 5 and 8. So 5 and 8. There you go. Now let's check if this should be a closed circle an open, or an open circle. Now what we have here is a greater than symbol only. So this one should be an open circle. So to do that, you just need to click it once. Again, we should be expecting an arrow here. That's a greater than symbol. So the arrow should be um, pointing on the right side. So to do that, you need to click this twice. One, two. And there you go. That's the graphical representation of our piecewise function here.